God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Sator princeps quitem horum, clarum diem laboribus, noctem quequis oporibus, fixo distinguis ordine. Enden lucas am dirige, oscura ne silencia, ad dira cordis unera, teris pates cam invidi. Facent ardore pectora, faces necula servera, quen nos pretende sensui, mentis vigorem saucia. Presa pater bisissime, patrite con parunice, un spiritu paracrito, Put in 
in your circle, for the harvest of the earth is fully ripe. What does it profit a man if he gains the whole world? Hear this, all you peoples, give heed all the dwell in the world. Let the Lord and I, rich and poor alike. My lips will speak words of wisdom, my heart is full of insight. I will turn my mind into a parable. With a heart I was a soul, my brother. Why should I fear in evil days? <clears throat> the malice of the foes who surround me. Men who trust in their wealth and boast of the vastness of their riches. For no man can buy his own ransom or pay a price to God for his life. The ransom of his soul is beyond it. He cannot buy life without death, nor avoid coming to the grave. He knows that wise men and fools must all perish, and leave their wealth to others. Their graves are their homes forever, their dwelling place from age to age, though their names spread wide through the land. In his riches, man likes wisdom. He is like the beasts that are destroyed. This is the lot of those who trust in themselves, who have others at their back and call. Like sheep, they are driven to the grave, where death shall be their shepherd, and the just shall become their with the morning their outward show vanishes, and the grave becomes their home. But God will ransom me from death, and take my soul to himself. Then do not fear when a man grows rich, <clears throat> when the glory of his house increases. He takes nothing with him when he dies. His glory does not follow him below. Though he flattered himself while he lived, men will praise me for all my success. Yet he will go to join his fathers, who will never see a light anymore. In his riches man lacks wisdom. He is like the beasts that are destroyed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. What does it profit a man if he gains the whole world? to come. 
come, now and forever. Amen. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. Alleluia, alleluia. From the letter to the Colossians. Christ's peace must reign in your hearts, since as members of the one body you have been called to that peace. Dedicate yourselves to thankfulness. Let the word of Christ, rich as it is, dwell in you. In wisdom and perfect, instruct and admonish one another. Sing gratefully to God from your hearts in psalms, hymns, and inspired songs. Whatever you do, whether in speech or in action, do it in the name of the Lord Jesus. Give thanks to God the Father through him. Let us praise Christ who gives power and strength to his people, and 
and let us entreat him with sincere hearts. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Christ our strength, you called your faithful ones to your truth. Mercifully grant in faith and perseverance. Kyrie eleison. Direct our leaders according to your will. And help them to keep us in peace. You provided bread for the hungry crowd. Teach us to share our resources with the needy. Do not direct world leaders to give attention only to the needs of their own nation. But give them above all a respect and a deep concern for all peoples. For our province, for our regional meeting, for our oblates, future oblates, friends, benefactors, and for our particular intention. Grand blessed light and resurrection to our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep. And may all those who have believed in you share in your glory. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Lord, may our evening prayer come before you and let the faith our lips profess live in prayerful thoughts of our hearts. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. And speak this out. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us. And we also serve with our brothers and sisters. Pray for all the of every night. Peace to the dedication of St. John Lateran, the cathedral of the Bishop of Rome, and thus the mother and head of all the churches in the Christian world. It was built by the Emperor Constantine around 324 next to the palace of the Laterani family. It was dedicated to Christ the Savior. Five ecumenical councils have met there. Also, they have the birth of numerous other saints, whose names are inscribed in the Book of Life. We fly to our patronage. O Holy Mother of God, despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. May be it done unto me according to thy word. And the word was made flesh. And the Lord was among us. Tell me. For the grace of the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sins, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For forth we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, and that we do in the incarnation of Christ, thy Son, who has been known by the message of the angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen.